will come. Whatever may come, our love is eternal. Isn't it, dear? <laughs> her, her key looks exactly the same, which is dope. Into that. Oh, that's her intro? And she looks sick, actually. Nice breeze. Love you too. My favorite color. A blue so clear, you can peer into its depths. I'm talking to Paracelsus, not you. We're busy. I want to say, I didn't play like almost any plus R, so I don't really know where a normal moveset is. It doesn't understand things are worth. I like her voice a lot. Probably playing Japanese. Ooh, new stage. March 26th? Oh, it's right around the corner. Six days. There's no stage. A new stage looks cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy they gave... I'm actually surprised they gave ABBA before, like, Jam and stuff, but I know more people wanted ABBA for sure. I don't know. It. The thing about it, though, is, like, I don't really know what original gameplay really looks like, so... I know what she originally looks like, but... I can't really be like, wow, so much has changed. I'm just like, oh, looks neat. Smile. Okay, let's see the explanation. Explanation, explanation. Introducing ABBA. ABBA can enter an incredibly powerful mode by fulfilling certain conditions. I guess it's Gain jealousy on gauge key. to Ooh. enter jealous rage. Jealousy and lock the gauge. opponent down with their overwhelming offense. Jealous rage. ABBA can effects. switch modes via the following actions. Using changing and swaying. Hitting the opponent with bonding and dissolving. Hitting the opponent with the law is key he is king. While in Jealous Rage, Abba gains greatly improved movement, and most of her normal oh, shit, special that was moves good movement. and overdrives have different the properties. Fuck? The Jealousy Gauge depletes over time while in Jealous Rage. Damn, you can gain Jealousy Gauge fuck. by enduring opponent's attacks with Frenzy and Astonishment, or when certain moves are blocked or hit the opponent. Bonding and dissolving. A strike attack hitting to the front. Greatly okay, so increases jealousy gauge on hit and enters jealous rage. Oh my god, that does increase a lot. After and landing air, this cool. move, make good use of her movement in jealous rage to keep up your offense. The Ooh, grounded version leaves too? ABBA at an advantage, even when blocked, allowing like you to monster. extend your pressure. Be careful though, as it leaves you wide open on whiff. Oh, on whiff. The mode ends after block. landing this move while it's in on block. On and right there, they did it pressure. on block. Be careful though, as it leaves you wide open on whiff. The mode ends after landing this move while in jealous rage. Look, can it get six P? Changing and swaying. This move can be used while the jealousy gauge is above a set value. Using it enters Jealous Rage. After increasing the gauge with various attacks, such as Frenzy and Astonishment, enter Jealous Rage to go on the offensive. While in Jealous Rage, this move can be used regardless of the gauge remaining. It can restore some of the depleted Jealousy gauge while ending the mode. Oh, that's cool. Hall and Heed. A movement technique with fast forward movement. It can be used to evade attacks that hit high. Oh, she's Use a low this crush. Move to approach from mid range while Sick. avoiding the opponent's pokes. You can cool. cancel into it from a normal move to surprise the opponent and get in. While in Jealous Rage, the movement distance extends greatly, making it even more effective as a surprise attack. 
intertwined, or, they say? or effective page, the movement distance extends greatly. Oh, it does go so it much even farther. More effective as a surprise wow. attack. That looks crazy. Intertwine and tilt. A lunging strike attack with a leap forward. Oh, that's not it overhead. It can be used to evade attacks that hit low, low while that attacking. Dude, she, that, dude, I just want to say. So, she looks like a hard rushdown character. And the thing I like more than anything are high crushes and low crushes. And she's got both of those. That's sick. That's like just what you want with a rushdown character. Is gain those reads on people who like to like low or you know sweep to try to catch your jump in or your dash ins or try to go uh you know use a long normal that's a high or use a low move to catch you while running so she literally has an answer to both of those on a good read so that's fucking insane you know during Evasive jealous gameplay range, is always something it I'm travels into. less distance instead becoming an overhead it launches the opponent high on hit meaning you can combo into standing kick or close standing slash. Cool. Use this to mix up a blocking opponent or as part of your combo. Give my word. Hey, let's go. She looks Menace fun. and groan. A strike hey, attack with in the forward game. movement. This move has minimal recovery when blocked, making it work well in strings. Okay. In Jealous Rage, like it works even better in strings as it covers more distance, meaning it can hit from mid range. Yeah, that was Restriction actually some good range. and constraint can be used as a follow-up from midway through the move. Try using them together. Restriction and constraint. Hmm. A follow-up move from menace and groan. Cool. A powerful low strike attack. That's with a low movement. On hit, it leaves the opponent knocked down for a long time. I'm telling you, you they only made it a low, so you could. You could fucking RC into grab or an overhead or something. RC into dust. That's literally like the only reason that move's gonna be a low. It's because that means everyone's gonna be used to going low right after, so then they can mix you up. That's cool. Continue your offense. During Jealous Rage, the damage increases and it launches the opponent high oh, on hit, damage increases. allowing for an even more extended offense. Be careful, as it leaves you vulnerable when blocked. Frenzy and Astonishment. A move that can withstand attacks from the opponent. Oh. Enduring an attack with this move greatly increases the jealousy gauge. Just has a ABBA takes no chip damage when enduring an attack. It cool. becomes invincible afterwards until the end of the motion. That's dope. Find the right timing to endure an attack and take your turn. Damn, she's Cannot got some be used tools. while in Jealous Rage. Be careful, you as throw attacks prone. cannot yep. be endured, and I, damage will be taken know. as normal. Judgment and Sentiment. The Temkin players powerful strike with attack, joy. Hitting twice in an area to the front, only available in Jealous Rage. Oh, it's only this available in Jealous Rage. Can endure attack only a powerful strike attack, hitting twice in an area to the front. Okay. Only available in Jealous I've Rage. Seen a DP or not. This move can endure attacks from the opponent while attacking. Oh, it is a DP. Hit, it launches the opponent high enough. Oh, it's not to DP land because you get Jealous attacks. Rage meter. You can go for a big oh, damage. What did they just say? Enough to land additional attacks. You can go for big damage by working it into your combos. This move is especially useful as it leaves ABBA at an advantage even when blocked. Oh. Meaning you can extend your pressure. Hold up. So it's not a real DP, so you can get grabbed out of it. So there might be a gap between hit one and hit two. But it withstands aerial attacks is what he said, or did he say it doesn't? It withstands aerials. It's invin not truly invincible, but, you know, I guess DPs you can command grab too, but, or grab anyway, so it's kind of, it's the same properties, except for you gain meter from doing it, and then it's plus on block, so essentially it's a plus on block DP. There's, I know, I know there's going to be some other properties, and it's not as good as it looks, or something like that, but, oh. Uh -huh. The law is key, key is king. Most generative piece to me, yeah. A powerful strike attack, swinging down with Paracelsus. 
greatly increases jealousy gauge oh, on sorry, key I'm down like... with key ah. is king. I was thinking about that. A powerful strike attack. Okay, strike attack. Down that was with Paris Oh, this is just her super. Greatly shooter. increases jealousy gauge on hit. Oh. Entering jealous rage. Oh, it enters as into it jealous has rage automatically. And is invincible as the attack comes out. Okay, it's, it's, it can it's her be used actual, both in like, combos reversal. or to interrupt your opponent's block strings. On hit while in Jealous Rage, Paracelsus performs a vicious attack oh. at his full strength, exhausting all remaining that was Jealousy sick. Gauge. That was so cool. Consider when to use this move carefully, as it ends Jealous Rage mode. Keeper I love of the her key. sound effects. Summons a projectile from the ground yes. at the opponent's current position. Only one Use hit? this oh, as a surprise attack from long range. It's actually tracking. It summons additional so, projectile. That that's a cool way to like give her more utility. I know she already has a lot, but she seems like a heavy rushdown character, right? Everything, how good she is depend on her other buttons, because it's really hard to tell from this video how good her other buttons are. Um but if she's struggling running into your face, she can get a hard knockdown with this super, right? So it makes zoners like Axel and stuff scared to throw out a projectile. Even with Potemkin, it's, scared, it would be, it's gonna be scared to do a slide head when she has meter, because she might just use it to hit you with this, you know? Well in and sure enough, rage. hard knockdown, and she can, as we see, run across the screen in a split advantage, second. Even when this move oh, is wow. blocked, making it a great tool for extending pressure as well. Damn. Dude, Abba she struggles looks to scary. approach and launch her I offense in her standard mode due to her limited movement. Focus your neutral game on accumulating jealousy gauge. Increase the jealousy gauge with long range pokes such as standing heavy slash or frenzy and astonishment, which can withstand an attack from the opponent. Use all oh, cool. in like to avoid high hitting moves or Literally the story of Use my life right here. Are you kidding me? To avoid high hitting moves, that input to or get hit. intertwine and tilt to avoid low hitting ones if you try to approach. Once you have enough jealousy gauge, enter jealous rage with changing and swaying, or bonding and dissolving pop player, to go on the offensive. K2D without even hitting. That's weird. Abba gains improved movement and extended range for her jumping attacks in jealous rage making aerial she approaches especially potent. Once you're in, you can make them guess with a high-low mix-up between crouching heavy slash and intertwine and tilt. Oh, wait. Jealous Ra What did they just say? Intertwine tilt is an overhead? Make them guess with a high-low mix-up between crouching heavy slash Crouching heavy slash is a low. and intertwine and tilt. Intertwine and tilt. Which one was intertwined and tilt? Was it the one that's like a low profile? A lunging strike attack. Are they saying that is an overhead? With a leap forward. It can be used to evade attacks that- Maybe that was a mistake. I don't know, maybe I'm just hearing it wrong. Maybe I'm the dumbass, but... Abba gains improved Sorry. movement and extended range for her jumping attacks in Jealous Rage. Oh, with a jumping attack in Jealous Rage too? Especially potent. Oh, cool. Once you're in, I you can make listening. them guess with a high-low mix-up between crouching heavy slash and intertwine. No, he said high-low mix-up. Jealous He's Rage that ends an when you run out of Jealousy mm. Gauge. Maybe it's a mistake. Putting you in an incredibly Maybe tough situation. Switching between modes as needed, depending on the current jealousy gauge remaining, requires careful decision making. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Yeah, this is uh, definitely one of those things. I'll play the trailer in the background in Japanese while I, I talk about her a little bit. This is definitely one of those things where this character is looking super cheap. But... At the end of the day, her buttons might be dog shit. She looks fun though. She literally like if you want it, as weird as it is to say aloud, especially for an anime game where everyone's pretty much rushed down, there hasn't really been a raw rushdown character in a while. You know?
Like, almost everyone is kind of like zone control type characters lately. Um, this character just looks like raw rushdown with raw speed and utility to get around like people's moves and projectiles and stay in. And that's... There's no cooler feeling. That's why everyone plays these kind of characters, because there's no cooler feeling than being exactly what it is, evasive and staying in people's faces with plus frames and shit like that. Like, look at... Dude, she has to have the fastest run in the game. So the thing I like is that if you don't control her meter correctly, it looks like you're just gonna get dicked, you know? Because you want to go into you want to go into whatever the hell it is into her active state, but it looks like if you're not paying attention to it or not laying a hit, you can get heavy punish for it. But I could be wrong. This is all just speculation. But um, yeah, no, she she looks like a dream. Um, I'm really happy for everyone who wants to play her. She she looks like a lot of people's dream character. I think the only thing that will upset people is her redesign, you know? But that upset every time a character comes out, people are upset about their redesign. Uh, Elfelt has really grown on me, to be honest. At first, I was like, I like it, but not as much as the old one. But now I'm like, you know what? It's pretty great. But yeah, no, she looks fantastic. I'm excited for people. Now, as you guys know, I'm probably I'm, I'm not going to be playing her myself. But to me, she is one of the coolest looking DLC characters yet, to be honest. Out of like... Everyone knows I'm pretty much a hater. Outside of like Elfel and outside of Elfel, because I'm very biased. She uh, she looks like the second coolest. Honestly, who's cooler than her? Honestly, I think Happy Chaos visually and move wise, it looks really cool. But I know everyone has a salty taste in their mouth. Yeah, no, she looks fun as fuck. Okay, well if you're on YouTube, thanks for watching.